Welcome back to my gas generator testing world. Today we are looking at different cooling solutions for the gas generator. If you want to know how to set up and manage the gas generator itself, you should watch my PID controller tutorial. As you can see, my gas generator is running at max throttle and my temperature inside there are steadily at uh, around 20 degrees no problem and I'm going to keep the gas, genera gas generator at max uh, capacity all the way throughout this video so just keep in mind that um, if you if you need less power than 90 kilowatts just scale back the, the cooling solutions okay so before we head behind the scenes and look at how this uh, thing is cooled down. I want you to take notice of the passive vent on the back there and a couple of active vents on the left side here. Coming outside here, the first thing you'll see is just my fuel mixing. White uh, oxygen and red hydrogen makes uh, pink fuel, right? And on the other side here are just 500 computers that's turned on and uh, that's how I can control how much power I'm cons consuming. So in the middle here we have the cooling and um, this is pretty much it. In the pipe here I have nitrogen at high pressure that's being cooled by the radiators and the cold gas here is just being pumped into this pipe and that pipe ends up in the passive vent. The active vents on the side just pulls the air back out just to avoid overpressure and just sends it back into the radiators. And uh, if you want to see exactly, I can remove this box and you can see that it just goes into the passive vent and the active vents sends it back out. This, uh, this volume pump here is of course controlled by an, a PID controller so uh, it self tunes exactly how much uh, throughput it should have. How many radiators you need will depend on what type of gas you use and what the pressure is inside and how much airflow you can deal with inside the box there. And this is actually not enough and that's because I want to show you how to determine exactly how many you need. I have my handy little display here. This number is the rate of change of the temperature in the pipe. I could just stand here with this and wait for the temperature to change but this is uh, better. This is as you can see a really small number but it's positive, which means that the temperature is still increasing inside the pipe. So I don't have enough radiators to deal with the heat. So what we need to do is just to add a few more radiators and you'll see that number change. So if I add some radiators here, probably don't need more than a line or so. There we go. And you can see that it jumped into the negative for a little bit. There we go. It's starting to drop. Yeah, you can see the change and this will this this is continuing to drop. So now we have enough radiators. The type of gas you use in the pipe can be pretty much anything. I used nitrogen and CO2 works fine. A lot of people swear to using pollutant. But just to prove that you can use literally anything, I did one copy with mixed fuel. And um, doesn't mixed fuel self-ignite at some point? Let me just uh, try to juke this a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Nope, my cooling is still too good. If you look at this and think, damn, that's a lot of resources. Well, uh, 
I did the math and uh, this is less than half of the raw resources you would need to generate the same amount of power with uh, solar. And uh, that's not considering all the batteries you would need. And on MIMAS the difference would be even bigger. So let's move to Mars. And we don't need radiators anymore. And that's because on Mars we have an atmosphere. And the atmosphere gets very cold at night, so we can just save some of that cold night air and use that instead. So, down here, it's exactly the same setup, uh, with exception that the active vents now don't need to save that gas, we can just vent it out into the exhaust, because there is so much more free gas to take from. And on the inside, we still get a cool 20 degrees, no problem. If you are completely new to gas generator, then U Europa is the place to start. Uh, because here is the place where it's absolutely the easiest. As you can see, we don't even have any active vents anymore, just a few passive vents here, piped up to a digital valve. The volume pump is gone, and uh, there is no active events anymore. And uh, this just opens and closes as needed. And uh, as a bonus we can keep this door closed and take the window off and we have a nice habitable space in here. Completely pr temperature controlled. I mean it's a little bit noisy. But as you can see though the temperature isn't as stable but if you want to solve that, just continuing that pipe and adding some passive vents throughout the room would even it out some more. But can it be done on Vulcan? And let's, uh, let's get the cheesy solution out first. Because, um, because it, well yes, uh, my generator is running at max capacity here and um, the temperature in the pipes are decreasing, so this works, but uh, this is just a copy of the moon solution. Um, just encapsulated and made a complete vacuum in here. So the game handles this as if it were on the moon. So yes, it works, but it feels kind of cheaty because uh, it shouldn't work, right? Okay, so how would the non-cheesy solution be? Well, uh, the problem is getting some cold gas. And um, you start with just sucking up the coldest atmosphere you can find, which is the nighttime atmosphere, just like we did on uh, Mars. And uh, then we use that uh, atmosphere to cool down another atmosphere and that gives us well something around like this but this isn't cold enough still so uh, we go through a second box here and we end up with um, minus a hundred and uh, something degrees but um, uh, here's the problem um, this is increasing rapidly and um, this box consumes uh, 45 kilowatts and uh, this box consumes uh, another 43 not to count all the active vents and um, my generator is only running at 20 kilowatts so um, I am gonna call this and say probably not. Thank you for watching, I hope this helps someone and as always the worlds are on the workshop.